here, it's Kim Denny with the Inspired Designs and today I'm giving you the basic tips on completing your pineapple plaque. Now most of my plaques can be ordered either completed, meaning strung by me, or as a kit like you have here. But if you have a friend who sees yours and they don't want to make their own, let them know that they can always get it completed as well. Okay, so when you received your pineapple, you have all the nails in the wood and I have outlined the top of the pineapple for you. So it's up to you whether you want to start with the leaves or the base, but both techniques are essentially the same, so I'm just going to show you up here on the leaves. So what you want to do is tie your string onto any nail in the section that you're working on, and just do that by tying twice like you're tying the start of your shoelaces around any nail, and then go ahead and trace the outline just like I have already done for you, but you're going to do that between each layer because it builds up a little bit of a wall to give you a nice finished edge. So you're just going to go around and just basically go and, uh, you know, sometimes you'll need to go on the insides of the nails, sometimes you'll go on the outsides, but you want to just stay on the lines that I've already given you. The pineapple does get a little bit tricky because it is a little bit more detailed up here at the top. Whereas the base, of course, is going to be one nice um, kind of oval shape that will be a little bit easier to fill. Okay, so for the sake of the time of the video, let's just pretend I've made my way all the way around and the outline is completed. Now what we're going to do is pretend like you have a crayon in your hand and you're just scribbling inside those lines. So you can go in any directions you want. You can make long lines. You can make short lines. But what you want to be aware of here when you're working on your pineapple leaves is you want to stay inside the lines of the leaves. So for instance, you don't want to cross over outside here because see you have a leaf here and a leaf here. You don't want to cover up that space because you're going to lose the definition of your leaves. So you want to stay inside the lines that you've already outlined. And you'll just continue making your way through the shape. You can cross right over all these nails in the middle or you can hook onto them if you want. We will use those to create a little bit of definition, and you'll see that in the picture that's included with your kit. Once you have kind of randomly strung an entire layer, meaning you've hit each nail about one time, you'll go ahead and press down gently so it moves the string down a little bit and gives you a little bit more room to work to create your next layer. What you'll do now, if you can't get into some of these small spaces, I've found that the end of a Sharpie with the lid on, of course, um, works to help you kind of push that down. So any kind of implement that you have like that that could help you push down, just to move the string down a bit. So then you'll complete that whole process again, outline it, then random, 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 outline, random, random, random. Most people do three or four layers, but you can do it as sparse or as dense as you would like. Once that's done, we're going to cut off your string and tie it. One of my best tips is anytime you're cutting off the string, cut a nice long tail just like I did when I tied it on. Using these long tails makes it much easier to tie your knots rather than trying to work with a teeny tiny little string. And then tie a knot around whatever nail you finish off on. And then you're going to take the black string that was included in your kit and you're going to look at the picture and you're going to follow the lines so that you can create some definition in your leaves. I'm going to show you down here on the pineapple just because it's a little bit easier to see rather than up in that leafy space. But let's pretend I was up in the leaves and I was creating definition. And all you're going to do is circle around two nails two times. So that's one, two, and then you're going to do a criss cross. And then the next two nails, one, two, and then a crisscross. Or some people it works better in their mind if they think of a figure eight. So if you do the one, two circle, and then the figure eight in the middle. And what that's doing is creating kind of a nice solid line. So you'll have this all filled in with your green. You're going to take the black and make the solid line, and that's going to make your leaves really pop with some definition. So that's how you complete the top part. For the pineapple base, You'll use the yellow, or if you chose a different color, then use whatever color was your choice. Um, do the outline, random stringing, three or four layers, and then you'll take the brown, or whatever accent color you chose, and to create the hash marks following the picture once again, you'll just go one, two, and then one, 
two, so you're circling around every two nails two times. So essentially, we've circled around nails A and B, B and C, C and D, D and E. We'll go all the way across, and then we'll create the other lines. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on my Facebook the Inspire page. The name is right here on the back, so you can easily find me. You can see a ton of more projects on that page and also find them on my Inspired Etsy page. I hope you have a lot of fun with your pineapple. Bye-bye.